Hey everybody, John from Wire here. In this video, we're going to learn how to change our Shopify store name. And our Shopify store name is something that we've chosen when we first created our Shopify account, right in the early stages of creating our account and creating our store and getting it set up. If you're going through a rebranding or maybe you just have a desire to change the name of your Shopify store, this is the way that you can go ahead and do so and also connect that store to a URL, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. So in order to start, it's first important to clarify what do we mean by changing the name of our Shopify store. Our Shopify store is outlined in a few different places. It's included within our admin panel, and it's also included on the actual store itself in the upper left-hand corner if you do not have a logo, and also within the URL if you haven't changed it from the myshopify.com link. So in order to change this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our admin section and then click on settings. And within settings, we're going to click on general. Within general, you're going to see this option here that says store name under store details. So let's see what happens when I change this store name to something else. So I'm going to rename this to wire tutorials new. And I'm just going to show you what happens when I change the store name and what things do change and what things don't change. So if I change this to Wire Tutorials New from Wire Tutorials, so if I refresh this page, what's going to happen is that it's going to change my store name to my new store name that I've just entered. You'll also notice if I go back and refresh my page that it's also going to update my text in the upper left-hand corner if I haven't already updated this with my own logo. But there are a few things that don't change, and one of the things that doesn't change is my URL for my My Shopify store. So how do I change this out of all the things that I've changed so far? There's a few ways you can do this. One of the first ways is that you can go into your admin center and click on online store, and then click on domains. Within this section, you have the ability to buy a new domain, transfer a domain to Shopify, or connect an existing domain. If you go through the process of buying a new domain, there's a lot of different options that you can choose from. But I do want to warn you that if you're going through this process, you're probably going to be overpaying for all these different domains. I have another video that I'll link in the description below, which gives you a very, very easy way to connect an existing domain that you purchased from a third party domain name provider. It takes less than five minutes and you'll be saving a lot of money overall in the process. I highly recommend that you have your own domain instead of the My Shopify domain that you're provided for free. It really goes a long way in helping building your brand and also gives you the flexibility to change your URL later on if you undergo a branding change or if you just wanted to mix things up when it comes to your store name. So what I've done so far in my other video is I've connected a third party domain called wire.work. So what I can do is I can click on the button that says change primary domain and I can select a third party domain that I've connected to my store. I've already selected wire.work and now I'm going to save the changes. So it's informed me that my primary domain has successfully changed. So that means if I go back to my actual website and I type in wire.work, it'll now direct me back to the same page that I just had once I enter using my store password. There's one last thing that hasn't changed throughout this entire process and that is the admin center URL. It still is my old Shopify name, which is wiretutorials.myshopify.com. So what happens if I wanted to change this URL? The reality is that the only way to change this URL is to go back and register for a brand new Shopify account. But don't worry, if you need a really easy way to remember the URL that you first used in order to access the admin center, I have a quick tip for you. Go back to your website and put at the end of the URL slash admin. Once you put slash admin, it's going to direct you automatically to your admin URL that you first used when you set up the account. So that way you'll never need to remember what your admin URL is. You just need to remember what the URL is that you're currently using for your online store. And again, this takes into account that I've already connected an existing domain to my Shopify account, which makes it really, really easy and affordable to just purchase a new domain if I want to switch gears and change my store or change my vertical when I'm selling products on Shopify. If you have any questions, I do read each and every one of those comments below. So please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to it with a response as soon as I can. Thanks. And I hope this helped. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.